As someone who runs a small gaming channel, I've noticed there's this stigma towards this genre of YouTube channel. A genre of YouTube channels that have some criminally underrated content creators that I am a part of, as well as some really bad content which isn't unique to this genre of small YouTubers. But there is a lack of disrespect that I've seen among different circles, from the general audience to some of my peers. There is a disrespect towards this type of of small YouTube channel. In this video, I'll discuss why this feeling of content is thrown towards small gaming channels, going into detail as to why it exists. I'm Oh No It's Justin, and this is... There are many creators of many different, varying niches that are on YouTube. A lot of these channels, such as blacksmith channels, car channels, and tutorial channels, require some level of expertise, experience, and skill in order to be able to effectively convey the information and value being shown on the screens to their millions of subscribers. To make a good cooking channel, you've got to have knowledgeable cooking experience. To be a good car tuber, you have to have access to various different cars. To be a good editing channel, you need to be proficient and knowledgeable in editing and editing software. However, to start a gaming channel, you don't need to have much knowledge about gaming. All you need to make a gaming video is some recording software and a video game. That's it. You don't even have to have a mic to speak in, as there are millions of people who make no commentary gaming videos. This means that the barrier to entry to make gaming videos is extremely, extremely low. The only genre that I can personally think of that has a lower barrier to entry is vlogs, as all that requires is a phone. As a result of this, and the big gaming content creators making huge sums of money from this sort of content, there are now millions upon millions upon millions of people trying to start their own gaming channels inspired by these bigger YouTubers but oversaturating the market in the process. This by itself isn't necessarily a bad thing, however when you watch the vast majority of these channels, well, the sh really shit, mainly as a result of a clear lack of effort when it comes to things like editing and audio quality. There's a lack of effort and originality in trying to keep the viewer entertained, which is the entire reason as to why someone would want to watch a gaming video in the first place. And because the barrier for entry is so much lower than other niches, it inversely means that the barrier to success for a gaming channel is extremely high. Basically, to stand out from the crowd, you have to be that much better than the crowd. The fact clearly remains, however, that the vast majority of these channels' creators aren't looking at their own content objectively and aren't trying to improve their own content. Instead, they already think their content is good enough, despite the fact that they have little in the way of quality and blame the algorithm and YouTube and all these other things other than their lack of skill as to why they aren't successful, which leads me on to the ways that they promote themselves. Now, before I continue, I want to point out that for the vast majority of small YouTubers, self-promotion is in fact a necessary part of a channel's growth. In my time, I've seen various YouTubers after they've posted a video of theirs to say Reddit, grow exponentially. The reason as to why self-promotion is necessary for the growth of a lot of small creators is because when starting a new YouTube channel, you are a relative unknown. Nobody knows who you are and anything about you. And because of this, YouTube has very little incentive to promote your content over that of much larger creators. In this stage of the game, the best way to get seen is to get seen through search. However, a lot of new smaller YouTubers usually have one or two problems. 
either they aren't very good at SEO so they don't optimize their own videos or they make content that isn't easily searchable and surprise surprise because of the oversaturation I talked about earlier most gaming channels will find most of their content is difficult to find in the search bar myself included I'm by no means an exception to this while I have had some success in getting my videos to rank in search, my video ranking in search is the exception rather than the rule. Because of this, self-promotion is a necessity in order to grow your channel. Almost every channel on YouTube has done some form of self-promotion to get to where they are. Name a channel and they've done it. However, self-promotion itself is not the issue. It never has been. All joking aside, what is the issue is the way that it's done and carried out. An example that I personally want to give is Reddit. You can go to a community on Reddit and post your video if it is both relevant and allowed. Keyword being allowed. Some communities on Reddit, as well as some other online communities, have a strict no self-promotion policy in order to stop people using the communities to just spam their videos in. What the members of these communities want is for people to contribute to the community. They want activity, not just in posts, but in the interactions with the members of said communities. They want conversation and dialogue with other members and to share cool stuff with the people there. But then you get those individuals who disregard the rules, who don't read the rules of the subreddits or groups that they are a part of, and who blindly just promote everywhere and anywhere they can. Posting your own video to his relevant subreddit is one thing, but going as far as to post your links on every post you can find, using other people's posts and comments, and sometimes other people's YouTube videos, is something else. Whenever I have seen someone spam comments on my own posts, saying hey check out my channel i get angry why because i spend time on my post and my videos and i want someone to add to the value of those posts to discuss it not to use it as a potential springboard for someone to promote their own content on essentially what is my own very hard work that i wanted to share and what type of content do almost all of these people who use spam bots make that's right unedited poor gaming videos which then affects small youtubers like myself who actually try to make entertaining videos with the gaming footage we record and try to be active in our communities a lot of people when they see gaming content think to themselves this is probably very easy to make anyone can do this all they do is record play gameplay and speak into a microphone and there is some truth to that a lot of gaming videos are just that. Heck, some people don't even speak into their videos, which ties into why the barrier for entry is so low, something we discussed before. But just recording a video and uploading it is not enough if you want to grow on this platform. To make good quality gaming videos, you need to do a lot more. First off, you need to make sure your audio and video quality is good, otherwise, people will instantly click off when they watch it, which is harmful to any creator. You need good quality footage, as without good quality footage, the video doesn't have a chance to be successful. You need good editing to keep your viewers entertained. You need good thumbnails and titles to grab your viewers' attention. There's so many more things that go into making a good, good quality gaming video other than just recording gameplay and w even when you do all the right things people may just not be interested in your video just to show you an example from my own channel this is a video i'm showing in my editing software that took me around 10 hours to complete why well first i have to watch the entire thing and cut out and edit the clips i keep in while going over the clips multiple times to make sure they work, which takes longer than the length of recording. And if I want to add something, say, subtitles, it can take a project that's naturally about 10 hours to complete to a 15 hour project. And sometimes these videos may not even get uploaded. And that 
is just the editing. When it comes to my thumbnails, I sometimes go through three to four to five versions to make sure I've gotten the correct one for the video. This is just to demonstrate that despite making gaming videos, making good videos can be both time consuming and quite challenging, especially when you have to complete every aspect of the video creation process by yourself. Looking at these factors, it's no wonder as to why some people, especially those that I have seen online, view small gaming channels the way they do. And I don't blame them. If I didn't have a small gaming channel myself, I'd probably look at these gaming videos and think to myself, anyone can make a gaming video. These guys need to stop stealth promoting and make real content. But by being a small YouTuber, a small gaming YouTuber, I feel as though as I can see both sides to the argument. And I have seen both my own content and other gaming YouTubers content get criticised before the content has even been watched. And because of this, and the reasons I have discussed with you today, I think that people forget that it doesn't matter what type of content someone makes that determines the quality of the content, but the actual quality of the content that determines the quality of the content. And whatever type of video it is, regardless if it's gaming or not, if the video is entertaining enough, it is enjoyed by you. Thank you for joining me today. Whilst this is my second video essay, I actually do gaming videos a lot more often than I do video essays because it's what I enjoy more. However, I've decided I may do these video essays or something completely different from time to time. Make sure to check out some of my other content. Maybe this video that I'm showing here right now. Uh, Richard Feelings decided to stare at Harold Hemsley, thinking, I'm late to class. I try to make as good quality gaming videos as I possibly can, and I implore you to check out that stuff and subscribe to me if you decide you like my gaming content. I enjoyed making this video and I hope to see you in the near future. Thank you.